trying something new here. I want to start doing a little bit more vlogging in the field. Uh, the idea didn't come to me till after <laughs> I had vlogged in the field this morning, but I'm going to try to do something every week or a couple times a month when I get out and just uh, compile my favorite shots, uh, stills, video, um, thoughts. I'm kind of getting bored of just sitting at my desk talking and ranting about things. So a couple of ideas. Um, today I'm going to talk a bit about the uh, 3.0 firmware update briefly, uh, very, very briefly. If if it came up, I think it did. Um, and I went out early to go get some otters that worked out. And what happened after that? We went looking for ducks. Uh, we got a bald eagle mixed in here. Um, so yeah, a lot of video today, not a ton of stills. And this is what I shot this weekend. Okay, we're here before before sunrise. That's uh, my favorite little pond. This is all frozen over. This is where I've been getting my otters. Haven't seen them in a while couple months since the fall but I drove past the other day on my way to work conveniently I, dr I drive right past this pond and I saw a couple of them out on the ice feeling pretty amped so yesterday I came back with the baby on board in the morning just to see didn't see any otters but I saw a bald eagle harassing the geese a juvenile so we're hoping the bald eagle comes back but oh here's the otters are here we've got them right here it's too dark to shoot so we're definitely definitely a manual focus but we're gonna see what we can get okay so here's my thought about gear I think a lot about gear at night when I'm you know reading stuff at home I don't think about gear when I'm out in the field right now honestly the Fuji kit I don't think anything would be better I'm out here with my subject which is amazing <laughs> I've been getting skunked a lot so I'm feeling pretty encouraged that I got up early in the cold and the dark came out here and and my plan worked which is awesome so yeah sure in this moment an r3 with an 800 5.6 i'd get i'd get a little bit more than the fuji but i mean that's 30 grand versus five six grand for this kit so my rule of thumb is if you're out in the field and you're thinking about how your camera is not getting you what you need and it's holding you back that's probably when you should think about upgrading. If you're out in the field and your camera's doing everything that you want it to do, then <laughs> you, there's nothing more you need, need to do. Okay, sorry, the otters, they're right here. Okay, gotta get them.
motors. That might be it for today. I'm hoping not. I'm not in a big rush, so I'm gonna wait around, but they popped out of this little hole. Um, they came closer to me several times. They were they were pretty far initially, and I was fine with that. I, I figured that if they stayed on the distant side, I have the reach to film them hunky-dory, but then they came closer, closer, they definitely spotted me, came over to check me out, and then eventually they, they had broken a hole in the ice right here, and they just popped out, and the one kind of periscoped out of the, the water and gave a little bark, I guess he wasn't uh, thrilled. It's possible that there, they might have a den entrance somewhere in these reeds that I can't see, too. I don't think I'm right on top of it, though. But, uh, Anyway, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that was the point I was making with gear earlier is that, you know, you should you should plan the gear for what you need, when you need it, and go from there. But I really thought that they would uh, keep their distance. It's funny because when I when I saw them in the, in the fall, they generally weren't skittish. Um, now that was a whole family of five or six. And then one of them got hit by a car and I saw them a few times after that, but I saw less. So I don't know if the family group split up. I don't know if the ones in the fall that I saw were, uh, were kits and they were you know, more curious and maybe the, the pair that I saw today, it's possible they were parents and uh, more wary. But anyway, um, I really thought that they would, they would stay uh, on the far side of the ice. Like when, where I first saw them, they were at a pretty good distance that I, I can't imagine that would have, uh, perturbed them but they definitely saw me um i was sitting low and kind of against the reeds but i mean still they, they definitely knew i was there and instead of going farther um they kept coming closer to check me out and come out of the ice so i don't know maybe it's, maybe i was just too early maybe it's the time of day maybe they were angry one of them kind of popped up they'll they'll do this uh, periscope thing and they'll pop up to get a better look and he did that and I heard him kind of chaff at me or, or let out a little bark. So I guess he did love that I was there. But um, but anyway, I sat for about another half hour after that, kind of scanning the whole pond, looking to see if they would uh, if they would come back. And that didn't happen. Um, saw a juvenile bald eagle there yesterday on the pond. 